Hello friends, this video on soil part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Next horizon is the B horizon. It is located just below A horizon. It is the mineral subsurface horizon. So why is this called mineral subsurface horizon? Now as I said, A horizon is the mineral horizon because it is rich in minerals which are provided to the plants for their growth. Now many a times it happens that uh, say because of heavy rainfall or due to floods or due to heavy wind, the topmost layer of the soil gets washed away with water or with wind. So just imagine a scenario when there is heavy rainfall. So with rain, the upper layer of soil get washed away. In that case, what happens? This B horizon, so A horizon is lost during floods. So B horizon is left on the surface. So sometimes this B horizon is left on the surface and it becomes a surface, it acts as a surface horizon for some time. So that is why it is called subsurface horizon. So it is no, basically not the surface horizon, but sometimes if the surface horizon is lost due to soil erosion, then this is exposed to the surface. So if you talk about its composition, it is it is rich in minerals in this layer it contains clay soluble salts iron so all these things are present in this layer so that is why it is mineral subsurface horizon talking about the texture of this layer it is more compact and hard so if you look at this b horizon you know here it is not soft like a horizon was soft it also had pores but here it is like quite tough and hard but as far as mineral content is considered it has decent mineral content and uh, it is typ typically it is formed by the transformation of materials which are present in the a horizon so the materials which are present here they only get transformed and they gradually move down and that's how b horizon is formed so if you look at this picture you see the b horizon is like it has a, a quite more depth when compared to o or a horizon so it, it is quite deep and this is the layer where actually the roots of the plants they are you know like they are like ending the root hairs and all so these are the plants and the root hairs they extend up to a and to some extent up to b horizon so that is why a and b horizon are rich in minerals so that through the root hairs plant can get whatever they want for their growth and development and also notice one more thing that as we go below as we are going deep the hardness of the layer is increasing for example layer a that is a horizon was quite soft it also had pores next was b which is hard and compact and now the next is going to be c horizon so c horizon is located even below b horizon it is hard it is quite hard so even when you compare it with b it is harder than b horizon so this layer is composed of small lumps of rocks so it is actually made up of rocks now since it is made up of rocks that is also one reason that the roots cannot penetrate into this layer because rocks are very hard right so if you have ever taken soil in your hand just try it out at your home so when you take soil in your hand you can actually feel it is very soft and i mean you can just mold it into any shape you can i mean you can very easily you know uh, press it Correct. Why? Because the soil which you are picking up is like from the topmost layers of soil. But when you go deep inside, if you start digging the soil, as you go deep inside, you can actually feel that the soil is becoming harder. So it is becoming difficult to dig it as you go deeper. So at this layer, minimum addition and minimum losses take place because like, as I said, sometimes there are losses from the A horizon due to floods or due to wind. Now the same thing can also happen for B horizon because in certain scenarios when there's flood or something, B horizon gets exposed. So there are chances, but yes, the chances of losses and addition in B horizon is still lesser. But when you talk about the C horizon, it is quite deep inside and moreover it is so hard. So the chances of any addition or losses to this horizon is very minimum. And where is this C horizon located? It is located just above this R horizon, which is nothing but the layer of bedrocks. So here at this point between the C horizon and this bed of rocks, this is 
the direct contact of soil with the rocks. So here you can see the soil is in direct con the rocks are in direct contact with the soil surface. So if you look at these layers which are like uh, more rocky, so these rocky layers are very hard and they are very difficult to dig. So that is why like if, if you have ever seen your gardener or maybe if you are interested in gardening you can just try it out in your own garden where you just take a, a, any sharp object and you just try to dig the soil you will see that initially it is very easy why you know because the topmost layers are very soft so it is very easy to dig them but as you go deeper it becomes you need you need to put more effort to dig it because as you are going deeper it is becoming harder and as it is becoming harder it needs more effort to dig it thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.